another day, another journey. Let's get ready to go. Right, so. Beep beep. Some plug you. Back up here at the secret special place. Oops. Not to bang that around. I'm quite lazy because I leave a cable plugged in, although this is an untethered unit. Um, I just leave the cable plugged in. We do have one in the back of the car. This is a 32 amp, um, so I wanted to future proof it, even though we've only got a 3.3 charger on the car. So it's 32 amp ready unit, so it would do the uh, a 6 kilowatt um, leaf. Uh, it's, it's essentially future proofed anyway. I want to go on the bike. I've got to go on the car, getting my my deary wifey kins and our little boy. So. We're ready to go. It's quarter to six, and by the time I've faffed around in here, it's going to be more like six o'clock. But yeah, 100%. 84 mile range, it reckons, on the gasometer. Mm, we'll see about that. Uh, I have a slightly different plan tonight. Anyway, more on that presently. Okay, well the plan this evening is go up to mother-in-law's and stepfather-in-law's, which is Grimsby, New Waltham area. I'm just currently leaving Nuneaton. I'm just going to check something out actually while I'm still in Nuneaton. Those of you who follow my channel will possibly have seen the video I did in well, it was the close of last year really when we had snow and I went out for a drive just really playing with the winter tyres. Um, <clears throat> in theory there's a charge station just down here which has been installed for quite some time, a filling station. But it hasn't been operational. It's char um, Genie Point. Yeah, it hasn't been operational for a long time. I'm going to go and see if it's finally live. Um, I'm almost certain that it isn't. Nobody's tweeted or anything along the lines that it is, but it really has. Been, it's been installed for so long now. It's it's become a bit of a joke. So uh, just coming up up to it now. Let's have a look. <sighs> blimey, blimey, blimey. This genie point machine after umpteen, after umpteen weeks of being in operational, has finally been commissioned. That's the fourth charge point now in Nuneaton. Fourth rapid. So I, I'm not going to charge here because I've got to make make some progress. So what I'm doing today, when I when I do this journey normally, for the last coming up four years since we've had the car, um, I'm going to do this journey which is quite regularly. We have to go via Grantham services on the A1 because of the lack of rapid, char rap rapid, rapid charging provision on the, uh, on the A46. The northern half of the A46 from the Midlands up um, is the obvious route to go up to North East Lincolnshire. And um, yeah, despite that, it's it's been lacking any kind of decent rapid charging for for, well, for years. It's never had anything. Now, what's changed is not so long ago. So I think it was earlier on this year. Um, a rapid charger was installed at a little in Lincoln. So this, in theory, makes it possible now for me to change my journey back to the way I always traditionally did this journey, which is all the way up the A46. Well, the last bit on, uh, on 
a nice pretty road, but we'll get to that later. So what I'm going to do now is, is try and do that journey in exactly that way. And I'm just hoping that there's no problem with the charger at Little in Lincoln. Because if there is, it's going to throw a bit of a spanner in the works. Hopefully that's going to be okay. But first stop is going to be Leicester Forest East northbound on the M1. I've got 76% left on the uh, on the battery, so this is going to be a quick splash and dash. I think I'm just going to assess the distance to the uh, little in Lincoln. See how happy I feel about uh, doing it in one in one smash. Free vend. Can't beat a bit of free vend. We'll have some of that. We'll have a few minutes here and then we'll crack on. It's 20 to, 20 to 7. So, uh, yeah, don't want to faff around too long. Let's just have a look and see how far I've got to go. Okay, let's try uh, Let's try and find it from Google. Uh, near city centre. Let's go Lincoln. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, Lincoln, and we want Little. Uh, now, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help a lot. Uh, I think it's B. Okay, yeah, that's the one. So let's go for route details, give us the options. Oh, and I know which one I want to do. I want to go straight up the A46. Yeah, it's going to be the fastest. 59 miles, yeah, okay. So it's going to tell us we may not have enough. No, do need to find a charging station. Eighty-eight percent, seventy-two miles on the gasometer. I like to have twenty miles spare on the gasometer traditionally, but I will do with well, thirteen miles spare now. That will do me. I will just take it easy. Right. Okay. I'm going to stop charging. I'm going to be on our way. <laughs> sent out of Leicester now. Next major place to get to really is Newark. Of course rain should should slightly improve now. I've I swapped over to uh, from winter to summer tyres uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, in the intervening time we had a well my daughter picked, picked up a, a puncture on the near side front tyre. So uh, and it wasn't repairable unfortunately so he, put a new tyre on, well we've actually put it on the back, swap the back, the tyre that was on the back to the front, and put the new one on the back. But uh, I don't think, I can't say I, I've noticed a massive difference in range between winter and summer tyres, in all honesty. It's an interesting section of the A46. Around Stragglethorpe area. Well, as far as the car's concerned, it's new. It's new road. It's been here for a few years, but these maps are woefully out of date. 
I've never updated them and I never will. It's far too expensive. So for a while there we didn't know how far we had to go. We just lost in a field somewhere. Uh, 20 past 7, 34 miles to go. According to the journey planner and 50 miles left I'm guess I was at 57% on the battery. And I'm kind of driving around late 50s, early 60 miles per hour. I've got the fan on but not, not the aircon, just the fan on full blast. Just coming up to the junction on the A46 for the A52, which is where I'd normally come off, go across country to Grantham, pick that up at the A1. We're carrying on now. Yeah, these maps are so out of date that the it says the speed limit is 60. Now we're on a dual carriageway, so for a car it's, it's not 60, it's 70. That's how old they are. <laughs> this stretch of dual carriageway has been here for quite some time now. Okay, just going around Newark. Uh, I've got 21 miles to go, 34 miles and I guess I'm with a 40% battery remaining. I've spent all this time, quite a few years, thinking we need a rapid charger in Lincoln and yes, it's fantastic that there's one in there at Aldi. And hopefully, hopefully, our friends at Podpoint may be getting round to looking at putting one in around Lincoln at some point. But also, there's a possibility they might try and put one in uh, around here, around Newark. And if, in actual fact, Newark would be a very good site for one as well, just off the A46. There's quite a few out of town type, you know, retail parks, those kind of places. Um, with hotels, fast food places, you know, the kind of places. So, if they do put one in Newark and they put one in Lincoln as well, that would be phenomenal. That would be really, really good. Just what the A46 needs. Very pretty Newark. You know, when it comes to conserving energy driving this this car, I've kind of developed a, a system whereby I drive not so much based on the speed, but the power, which is what a lot of people would do. And as a rough guide guideline, I have the, the energy dots on the dashboard. I tend to like to drive, if I'm looking to conserve energy, I tend to drive with two or maybe three white dots lit, lit up on the power power meter. Obviously one is effectively cruising, two is, so two is you've got a bit of power and three is you know, obviously a little bit more power. Um, sometimes you can't avoid using more power than that, you know a steep hill or something like that or if you've got to do an overtake to get past somebody. But generally just cruising along I like to be two or three dots and that seems to kind of translate on a on, on rough you know, standard going ups and downs, average roads, it's round about, like I say, late 50s, early 60 miles per hour. Just coming to the outskirts of Lincoln now. So I'm nearly at my destination for the for the next charge. And I've been driving with Eco, not so much to eke out the miles, but just to you know, to really smooth out the accelerator, use of the accelerator. And B mode as well when appropriate. But ordinary day to day in driving, I don't bother with eco mode really. Only on, on a longer journey when I want to be sure about the range. <laughs> Go put his brakes on on a, on a level bit of ground. Okay, this is, this is weird. Hope he's alright. It's an old fella. Um, yeah, you know when you go around a roundabout and it all looks nice and clear, and it is all nice and clear, and then suddenly, just as you approach it, somebody comes around the roundabout. There's been a lot of that tonight, this evening. And the guy in front was one of them, to speak of. <clears throat> but I'm a little bit concerned about him, because he seems to be braking at really odd, odd times. Okay, we'll car home roundabout, we're on the outskirts of Lincoln. It's Lincoln Cathedral, glistening in the evening sun. 
Now here's a little factoid fact because did you know Lincoln Cathedral was the tallest building in the world for centuries? Apparently so. I'm going to have to check that now, aren't I? Anyway, we've got 3.5 miles to go, 14 miles left on the gasometer, 18% on the battery. Ah, hospital. My sister-in-law used to work here. Before they fled to Shetland. what that is there but it looks a bit prisony. Lincoln people. Is the prison opposite the hospital? Right you better let me in to little or I'm not going to be impressed to put it mildly. Where the hell is it? How do I get to little? Sorry, buddy, I need to get into Lidl quite desperately. Uh, route all the way, mate. Can I get in that way, yeah? yeah? What, is Lidl just here on left? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can get route all the way. Cracking. Cheers, mate. Okay, well, your man there reckons you can get in this way. How do I get in this way? It's closed. No? Okay, here we are. Now we just got to hope the charge is working. Yeah. No, my look. Ah, I can see it. Right, I can see it. That's the first good bit of news. The second good bit of news is nobody's in there. Uh, right, so. Let's have a play. Yeah, quarter past eight. Yeah, just gone. I've been fighting around for ten minutes trying to find the place. Given all the road works here, the road's closed. And I found it anyway, so. Yeah, 11% remaining the battery, nine miles of gasometer. Whew! Got it here. Now let's just hope it's working. I haven't used the little one before. It's pod point. I've got, I've got loads of cards, but. Uh, I don't think it's a touch sensitive, I don't think it's an RFID thing. So it's going to be a app job. So we'll give that a go. Get that plumbed in. Okay, well, we got it started. That was a little bit embarrassing actually. I've got umpteen cards. Unfortunately, you can't use cards. Well, fortunately, some would say, you can't, you can't use cards here on this uh, particular charger. So. They were all a dead loss. I've got a feeling I've got a pop point account, but embarrassingly, I'm usually very good with accounts. I take a note of them. Uh, you know, I've got an app for such things, and I can't find any trace of one. So, hmm, bit of a mystery there. Anyway, we're charging. Uh, 17 percent now, 13 miles. It's half past eight. I'm just going to nip into little, I think, and uh, maybe get a couple of bits. But uh, this is great. Yeah, all good. Charging. Okay, well that's been a bit, uh, a bit prolonged really. It's nearly nine o'clock now. Um, 86 percent, 66 miles. It took them a while to. to uh, I had to start and stop the charge remotely, uh, given my account detail issues at the moment. So. Um, yeah, we're all done. Eighty-six percent. That's plenty to get where uh, to, to Grimsby. So, we'll be on our way. Okay, just coming into Market Raisin. Town. 
guessing there's some races on imminently based on the number of coach type things around right so this is where I turn left onto the B1203 it's a great road this to 10 32 miles left on the gasometer 38 percent left and we've arrived yeah so back to a decent route now back to a sensible route here's my wifey <laughs> running towards me how it should be um, yeah sensible route now a46 that's gonna be great in in future going back that way Oh, I'm sorry, coming up here that way and going back that way. Rather than all across the countryside through Lincolnshire. As beautiful as that was, um, it's just too slow. You know, that's, okay, three hours, 50. I didn't need to charge anything like as long as that um, in Lincoln. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'm going to say hello to my wifey and my youngest little boy. She's waving. Okay, thanks for watching and bye for now.